Good morning. Welcome to worship at Lakewood United Methodist Church, Lakewood, New York, that is. I'm Pastor Mike Childs, and we welcome you. Martin Swoboski is our tracker organ. Helen Emick is on the piano. And today we have special music by Andrea McLean uh, a little bit later in the service. So I invite you, welcome you, and hope you have a wonderful day in the Lord. Good morning. Worship here at Lakewood United Methodist Church. Delighted uh, to be here. Turning my home. Uh, let's begin our worship today. And thank you, Martin, for that wonderful prelude. Uh, let's begin with a word of prayer. Would you pray with me? God, the ages, God of our ancestors, God of creation, praise your holy name, welcome you here into this place, into this space, and into our lives, and pray that our worship today would be pleasing in your sight. And that we would come here to be recharged, reinvigorated, and yes, Lord, challenged uh, to go from here and to be change in the world. We ask and pray it all in the name of God, our Father, Christ, our Savior, our Lord, and in the power and presence of your Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to look at your bulletin if you have one nearby. Um, you'll notice in red print on the inside cover of the bulletin that our change to worship begins next Sunday morning. Um, so next Sunday, we'll already be 15 minutes into our worship at this same time. Um, and I know, you know, this may be a challenge. It's going to be a challenge for everybody, I think. Uh, 
you know, moving the alarm clock a little bit earlier or for morning prep before you go to bed. And that helps me anyway. You know, I just kind of mentally, I think, what do I need to do tomorrow? A, B, C, D, okay. And uh, I don't know if any of you know, but I've, I've got a blue go bag that has all my Sunday morning stuff. And I try to get that prepared ahead of time so in the morning I don't have to rush. I just have to make sure I have that bag. If I forget the bag, we're not going to go anywhere. Yeah. It's going to be sad. Uh, we, I would just have to be flying by the seat of my pants. So next Sunday that begins. Um, on the insert in your bulletin, you'll see special notices, uh, in including our, our mission, our Lord's Pantry. Thank you for continuing to remember and donating for that. And the sale is coming Saturday, July 17th, 10 to 3. There is a sign-up sheet in the uh, foyer area if you can help, even if you can help for a couple hours or an hour during the day or in the days leading up. Uh, Pauline will be very happy. And we are still accepting uh, good, good used items for the, for the sale, which is a highlight. Um, our backyard Bible camp, under the leadership, the capable leadership of Sandra Muncie, is going to be in the early days of August, August 2 through 5, in the evening, 6 to 8, uh, ages UPK through 6 grade. Uh, teaching kids to serve is kind of the overall theme. And, uh, and we have quite a few volunteers for that. I don't know, uh, Sandy, do you need more, more volunteers for that? Always welcome more volunteer help with that. So talk to Sandy if you have, uh, if God's nudging you, if God's nudging you, then go talk to Sandy. Um, today, after our worship concludes here, I go to Celeron, and we are going to have our final service in that church building, and then as part of it will become decommissioned. Um, it'll be kind of a bittersweet, I think, service there, but you're all welcome to come there uh, for that as well. This week, uh, Monday evening, uh, the 28th, 5 p.m. Bible study, and then Wednesday, 10 a.m. prayer time. Um, we've got the corrected finances from last week, and then uh, so you can see the current financial picture, and appreciate all your Donations and blessings through your giving um, throughout this whole past year. I was thinking about how the year behind us has been such a challenge um, for many congregations. And uh, we really have been blessed by your support and your giving throughout the past year. Uh, and sometimes by people we don't even know. Strangers donate things, uh, donate money. Uh, Time and effort, it all it all works together to make uh, things here run smoothly, and we're always very very grateful for that. Are there any other notices? Anything? One thing I didn't put in the bulletin or the newsletter that should be should have gone out, and you should be getting it. Um, something that I'm just kind of learning. I got a. I got uh, information from our DS. Kathy Hall, the secretary of our district, is retiring end of this month. And they are, they are going to adapt by shifting our responsibilities from here over to another district. And so the secretary there will be taking up. And uh, so she works out of Bath, New York. And so there will be a new address, a new name, new contact person. Um, so what is a good thing for Kathy Hall, she gets to retire and relax. Um, we're putting a little more work on somebody else. And that information will be coming uh, in the days ahead. Just for our uh, knowledge and edification. Anything else? Let us 
worship God with our call to worship. Join with me if you would. O people, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He himself will redeem us from every kind of sin. O people, hope in the Lord. Our opening hymn today, 474, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. Join me in our unison prayer this morning. O Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, who, O Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to revere you. We have put our hope in the Lord. We have put our trust in his word. We long for you, O Lord, more than centuries seeking the dawn. Be our strength and our fortress. All this we ask in God's name, Father, Jesus, and Holy Spirit. Amen. On the back cover of your bulletin, there is a listing of prayer concerns and people to be thinking about, uh, as well as Bishop Mark Webb, our DS, Reverend Suzanne Block, uh, myself and my wife, Lakewood and Celeron, and uh, our Church of the Week, Ripley, and our Church Pastor Becky Ward and her family. Uh, and below that, Bill and Ray, Georgia, Martha, Robin, Valerie, Marianne, Troy, Woody, Sandy, Don, Alex, Alan, Rod, and Cassandra, Pete and Steve, and Sydney. Let us uh, turn our hearts and our thoughts to God in our prayer time this morning. Oh God, I thank you for this day of life, this day of blessing, this day of surprises. We pray, Lord, that you would surprise us with your mercies, with gifts, with unknown blessings. 
Pray, Lord, that you would be present. Be present to our needs and our desires. Be conscious and mindful of us, although we are so frail, so human. And, and like the flowers that blossom for a day or two and then quickly fade away, so is our life, like a breath. We come into the world naked and gurgling and groping, and, and sometimes we leave that way too. But the truth is, God, we can take nothing with us except for our relationship with you, our love for you, our love for one another. Everything we have is a simple gift from your hand, a, a loan while we are here. So help us think of that. Help us remember it. God, we think of these people who are on our prayer list. We do lift up our DS and our bishop. Pray for our whole denomination and our country. Pray for Ripley and South Ripley churches and Pastor Becky Ward and her family. Pray that you would anoint them today and their people and richly bless them. I pray for the list of people, many who need our earnest and ongoing prayer. I think especially of, of Ray and Linda. Pray for them. Pray for strength and healing. For Bill and Linda, for Georgia. For Pete and Steve and Sydney. Sandy. Don, Alex, Rod, Alan, Cassie, Robin, Valerie. And Lord, there are people uh, that aren't on this list, but they're in our hearts, they're in our minds, and there are unspoken requests for prayer that we know you're aware of. So God, now hear these names. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord. Thank you. 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 Thank Lord, we know about your love for your people. We know how you are mindful of us, and even the hairs on our very head are counted and known by you. And you know all these people we've just mentioned. We lift them up to you. We entrust them to you. And now we pray together as you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Our next hymn is number 337, Hymn of Encouragement, uh, Only Trust Him, Only Trust Him.
How many of you have sung that song before? Oh, not too many. How many of you like the song? Yeah? How many of you like the song? It's right now. All right. Our scripture lesson today comes from Job, chapter 38, uh, verses 1 through 11, uh, page 468 in your pew Bibles. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind. Who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you and you shall declare to me. Where were you when I laid the foundation Understanding. Who determined its measurements? Surely you know. Or who stretched the line upon it? On what were its bases sunk? Or who laid its cornerstone? When the morning stars sang together, and all the heavenly beings shouted for joy. Or who shut in the sea with doors when it burst out from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment, and thick darkness its swaddling band, and prescribed bounds for it, and set bars and doors, and said, Thus far shall you come, and no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stopped. This is the word of God for the people of God. Now we have a special blessing with special music by Andrea and Helen this morning. 